Hi, this is Saksham and welcome back to this brand new video on how to install Unity inside your system. And Unity is one of my very favorite tool out there. Not only you can build games inside Unity, but you can also deploy AR VR applications inside Unity 3D. And also Unity has personal plan that is for free of course. So you need not to pay anything in order to get started with learning Unity. In this video, we are going to take a step-by-step -step guide on how you can install Unity inside your system. Not only just that, we are also going to see that what are the different dependencies and the different editors like VS Code that needs to be installed while the installation part. So without any further ado, let's jump in and let's install Unity the right way inside your system. So let's get started. So first of all, what you need to do is that you need to visit on this website that says unity.com. And yeah, one more thing. If you're jumping on this channel for the first time, just go ahead and, you know, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and I'll keep on bringing such more amazing videos for you. So you need to visit on this website that says unity.com. Now, earlier they were just giving direct editor for unity.exe, but now they have introduced Unity Hub. In Unity Hub, you can manage a lot of projects out there and you can also see the versions of Unity 3D. If you have some older file that is there inside your system and you need some older version, Unity Hub is going to help you out. If you want to manage a lot of projects and if you want to see some uh, dependencies that needs to be installed, Unity Hub is going to take care of that. Apart from that, there are a lot of informative blogs and tutorials on Unity Hub, so you can just go ahead and check out. So you need to click on this that says download Unity. And when you'll click on here, you'll see that right now I am on Windows platform. And if you're on Mac OS platform, it will show you the prompt for the for your uh, machine that you are working on. So when you'll click on download for Windows, it will give you the setup for Unity Hub. And in order to save over time, I have kept this file on my desktop. So Unity Hub setup.exe is right here. I'm going to double click on it. I'll just agree to it. And you can see that Unity Hub is right in front of us. I'm going to click on I agree and I'm going to install it on my default destination. You can change it as per your wish if you want to. And you can see that our installation of Unity Hub is almost completed. Yes, it's completed. So now you need to run Unity Hub. So let's launch our Unity Hub in which we are going to go ahead and install Unity 3D. Okay, you can see that our Unity Hub is launched right here. I'm going to skip on installation because there are a few important things that you need to do. So first of all, you need to sign in. If you don't have a account that is already created on Unity 3D, just go ahead and create one and go for the personal plans that are for free of cost. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sign in because I already have my account created in here. And you can see I'm signed in inside my uh, account that I have it for Unity. So you can see my account is right here. So likewise, you just have to sign up and you need to, uh, you know, go ahead and sign. In. And yeah, one more prompt that you need to allow that is for the firewall settings. So go ahead and allow the access for the firewall settings. All right. Seems like everything is looking cool. Now we are going to jump on to the uh, more installation part. That is really important. That is actually the main part. So I'm going to install the editor. So I'm going to click in here. You can see you have the different versions of Unity. I would like to recommend you to go ahead for 2021.3.13F1. Uh, that is F1 here stands for the final version. And it is also uh, LTS that stands for long term support. So this is the version that I'm going to install. You can also look at the different different other versions like I suggested you and some pre-releases as well. Uh, but that is definitely not a stable idea to work on. Uh, so I would like to go ahead and I would like to install my uh, 2021 version that is there at the time of installing this. Apart from this, I would like to suggest you to go ahead and install and take on Microsoft Visual Studio as well. And the 2019 version is right here. And also, I would like to recommend you to go ahead and click on the Android build support as well. 
Now, you in earlier days, you also had the support for right. AR VR in here, but we are going to see that how you can install that later on separately in upcoming videos. But right now, this is what we need to do. And if you are running this on the iOS system, then you need to go ahead and tick on the iOS build so that you can go ahead and deploy the application for the iOS as well. But right now I am working on Windows. So, you know, it is not going to be for the any use if I'm going to tick on it anyway. So I would just recommend you to go ahead for the Android build support as for now. And also go ahead and tick on Open JDK and Android SDK. This is something that you need to download in order to deploy the application for the Android environment. So here you need to click on continue and uh, go ahead and tick on I have read and agree with the above terms and condition. Click on continue and I'm going to agree this agreement once again for Android SDK and I'm going to click on install. Now this will take some time. It will take about like 15 to 20 minutes depending upon your internet speed and it will download all the packages that we have performed in here. Like you have this editor application in here, open JDK, SDK for Android and NDK as well and the build support as well, uh, which is required to deploy the application on Android environment as well. So I'll just for fast forward this video from here and I'll just wait uh, for these things to get downloaded. Okay, so now my visual editor is giving me a prompt saying before you get started, we need to set a few things so that you can configure the installation. Let's go ahead and click on continue. And now again, the visual editor is also downloading some of the extra packages uh, to make this installer ready. Downloaded. Now it will install. Okay, so now you can uh, select few development environments inside the visual editor and you can download these kind of different different tool sets. Uh, but right now uh, we are more interested in game development with Unity and game development with C++. So you can just go ahead and download that and uh, I'm just going to install that. So I'm just going to click on install. So it is going to get started now. All right, so you can see that my visual code installer is also installed and all the installation is completed after downloading all of these things. So which means we are ready to get started. Reboot is required, but I am not going to reboot for now uh, because it is already installed and we don't need it for now in this video. And here you can see that we are all good to go. So now in order to get started with your first project, you need to click on project and you can create a new project from here. And you can have a look at all the templates that are required to make 2D and 3D. And after this, you need to go on all template and you can just go ahead and see that if you wish to create your first 2D project or 3D project and you can just name it and you can save it as per your location. You just need to click on create project and you will see that our project for 3D will be launched in some time from now. So now it may can take a little bit of time if you're launching it for the very first time inside your system. So it is actually resolving all the packages and configuring all the packages, but I don't think so it will take this much of time to launch for the second time. But yes, we can allow it to do the settings for the first time in here. All right, so you can see that our first 3D project that you can create is all ready to go and you can get started with a lot of 3D objects right here. So this is how you install Unity 3D step by step inside your system and you can play around with a lot of AR, VR and game development and there are huge number of possibilities here in Unity 3D that will be exploding in upcoming videos. If you really want me to continue this series, go ahead and hit a thumbs up and let me know and give me a feedback into the comment section. I would love to reply you over there. So see you into the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video.